Another consideration on the yoga path is austerity. Austerity is the effort you make for your love, for your ideals, for your execution of duties which may be difficult but you accepted them and now you not shying back even if it's difficult to execute them. Austerity is that what makes you a reliable person, which makes you a, a selfless person, which makes you a real searcher of the truth. Austerity is essential. All yogis do austerities, getting up early in the morning, taking cold showers and so many other meditations and sitting down quiet and listening to conferences about spiritual messages like, for example, the Srima Bhagavatam. All this is kind of an austerity. Of course, there's many more austerity. To be married is also considered an austerity. It's actually called a sacrifice. Because to be faithful to the family and always keep together and with God in the center, that is an austerity. And that's a sacrifice. Because in this way, you provide to uh, the family a real guardian, a, a real reliable person. So that's the austerity. And the yogi is always inclined to accept such austerities. So what is the reason why people are less and less austere, more inclined to their selfish pleasures, even giving up sometimes their children in need, their women in emergency, their own mothers, they leave them just abandoned and they just go for their selfish pleasures instead of doing the austerity of being the one you need to be or what to speak about austerities for spiritual advancement. I mean, these things are more and more in decline. And that is reasonably uh, because of the incredible amount of intoxication, which is an infatuation on people to think, for my joy, I can even destroy my own body, ruin my family budget, uh, do so many things simply for my temporary gain and pleasure, but actually completely unaware of the fact that I need to help. I need to do what has to be done, even though it's difficult. So when we take a type of intoxication, getting drunk or, or smoking marijuana or what to speak of harder drugs, it is simply the ruin upon my own growth, my spirituality, my family, my everything. Intoxication means that my very uh, family cannot count on me. It means austerity for me is something I don't deal with at all. On the contrary, I give trouble and suffering to others. I put others into the position of austerity because of my superficial and ignorant behavior. So it's the opposite. So this is not a qualification for spiritual understanding. Therefore, a yogi, one of the first things he should firmly consider that I will not destroy my clean consciousness. I will not be engaged in activities which destroy my health and my family and my work and my everything. No, I will not. I will take care of it the best I can and I will renounce all those things which are harmful to the growth of my life and my spirituality. And that is austerity. So we should be very eager to practice such austerity. We shouldn't be ha have to be forced for it. But the fact is that nowadays people are so much enamored by the TV culture. They're always living in the desire of enjoyment. And then austerity is for them like something it doesn't even exist as a possibility.